This is corn. I'm sure everybody knows what this is. For farmers and people who live from the provinces, corn is food. But for seafarers, corn is cargo. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I have to wear a face mask because here in our vessel, we are also following minimum health safety protocol. It is also a mandate of our company to do so. But I will try to be as clear as possible. Today, I am going to show you how our vessel discharge corn in bulk. When we say in bulk, it's a big amount of corn. Our vessel load this cargo from Romania and brought here in the Persian Gulf. It weighs 67,000 87 metric tons. One metric ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms. If you convert it, it is 67 million 87,000 kilograms of corn. Too much, eh? So here's what usually happens. When the vessel arrive at the port of discharge, the chief officer and the cargo surveyor will determine the quantity of cargo by drop survey. Drop survey is done by reading the drop marks of the ship and doing all the calculations until the quantity of cargo is achieved. After that, the ship is now ready to discharge the cargo. So how do our ship discharge this cargo? There are two teams for discharging operation, the ship and the shore. Shipmate is in charge for the ship and the foreman is in charge of the shore. By the way, the chief officer is in charge of the loading and discharging of cargo. Here in this particular terminal where our vessel is alongside, they are using two evacuators to unload the cargo. This is the bigger one, which can unload 400,000 kilograms per hour while the other one is half the capacity, which is 200,000 kilograms per hour. These evacuators use vacuums to sift the corns out of the cargo hold and into the lines of this equipment and feed to a waiting truck down below. See for yourself. Sip. into the lines and feed to the truck. Yes, by truck. These trucks are designed only for clean cargoes like corn. So these are the precautions for the ship to observe while discharging corn or any type of grain cargoes. First, weather monitoring. It is very important that this corn should not be contaminated with water or else it will be damaged. So the deck department should make sure that before the rain comes, operation should be stopped in coordination with the foreman and all cargo holds are closed. That's why weather monitoring is very important. Number two, ship stability, which includes discharging sequence and ballasting operation. The chief officer usually make a discharging sequence that the foreman and his team have to follow. It must be monitored by the deck officers all throughout the operation. In case the sequence is not followed, chief officer must coordinate with the foreman and revise the plan if needed be. Discharging sequence is made for the sake of ship stability. In short, if there's no proper discharging sequence, the vessel could break or capsize while in port. Number 3. Closing of cargo holds which are not in operation. Every time the sequence for each hold is temporarily stopped, then the holds must be closed. Because closing of cargo holds is very slow, 
So if the rain comes, you won't have enough time to close all the cargo holds. Then, there's a possibility that the corns will be contaminated and eventually damaged. And that's a big problem for the ship. Number 4. The ship's lease. As much as possible, the ship must always be in upright or balanced position. The ship will least any time due to a lot of factors during discharging. The corn cargo ships any time, so as a chief officer, I only allow 2 to 3 degrees maximum least or tilt in English term. If that happens during nighttime, the deck officer on watch should call me without hesitation. Number 5. Sounding of cargo hold bilges every day. Every cargo hold have a small compartment down below called bilges. These bilges should always be dry. If there's a water ingress, then it must be pumped out immediately in order to prevent cargo contamination. That's how sensitive this cargo is. Number 6. Everything should be recorded related to discharging operation. During stoppage, the watchman and the officer on watch should clearly indicate the reason of stoppage to prevent claims of delay afterwards against the ship. There are more precautions to consider during discharging operation, but these are the most important and everything else is second. The chief officer should conduct a drop survey every day to determine the cargo discharge for 24 hours and the total cargo discharge and the total cargo left to discharge. Yup, that's my current job. After the discharging operation is completed, the chief officer and cargo surveyors will conduct a final drop survey to determine the total quantity of the discharged cargo. After everything is settled, then it's time to close the cargo holds and prepare for departure. Hello guys, so we have completed our discharging operation and now we are good to go. I don't know where, but we will see. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon for you to be updated on my next vlogs. Thank you very much.